Piaggio Aero has unveiled the P1HH Hammerhead, an unmanned air vehicle version of its iconic P180 Avanti 2 twin pusher turboprop. It represents, together with a manned special mission variant, Piaggio's entry into the defence and security market. And although the aircraft hasn't flown yet, the company is confident that it will very quickly pick up traction in its home market and elsewhere. Well, the aircraft we unveiled today is quite obviously a derivative of the P180 Avanti 2 and uh, we are very proud of it because with uh, some important changes, but minor changes on the overall, we've been able to modify a normal P180 to an unmanned uh, system which is capable of flying uh, up to 45,000 feet. He has a maximum speed of 395 knots and it can loiter, which is quite a unique uh, feature, at 135 knots with endurance of 16 hours. So if you combine two engines, all weather capabilities, certified platform with more than 800,000 hours and a quite an important and good safety record, well, you understand that uh, it's going to be the solution that will bring to the countries who are interested uh, a more for less and in a very short time compared to other programs which we are hearing about. The first flight will take place hopefully during the summer and uh, the ground test has been started at the beginning of the year in an Air Force base in Italy. Fully successful so far, we had uh, taxing, we had uh, all the system uh, tested uh, successfully to be on, uh, sorry, last week if I'm not mistaken and uh, I think we're on track and uh, quite positive to be in the air within the end of the summer. On the markets, uh, well it's quite obvious that uh, there is a market of when the countries that are operating the Predators they will look for a replacement of the fleet and it's NATO countries of course and also there's a market for countries in Europe that they don't have yet a capability with a mail system or the way I like to call it a super mail because of its feature system. So we're focusing on NATO countries we hope for our country to be one of the first of course the budget limitation is very known in this part of the world and during this part of the, of the in the recent years but I think there's a big market in NATO countries in Europe to start with. So a large potential market for Piaggio Aero as it attempts to take on the big boys in the UAV market. And Piaggio Aero's Gulf connections, it's partly owned by Mubadla Aerospace in Abu Dhabi, could see this aircraft make a big splash at the Dubai Air Show in November. This is Murdo Morrison for Flight Global at the Paris Air Show.